What's going on? It's your boy Big MBKJ. And y'all already know I ain't even gotta say too much. Back with another vet. We're gonna be, you know, trying to figure out how to find a manager for you artists. Y'all feel like y'all starting to get your career going. Y'all like, look, it's time to hit the big moves. I need a dude with the connections. We got my dude. I'm gonna try to say his name right. Usala Alim. I watched another one of his videos on, um, I forgot what it was. I think it was marketing. But um, definitely, he definitely gives good advice. This dude, I really like his channel for sure. He got a book out um, on Audio Mac. Um, I believe this is like a clip from it. Um, but just picked that up. Can't wait to um, listen to it and everything. And yeah, let's get right into it. Video, I want to answer independent artist question some artists want to know how to find a manager or how do they find someone who wants to manage their career well, it's not going to be easy to find a manager in this case I'm making it easy for people to find me because I'm putting myself out as a manager really don't know until the man or someone tells you hey I'm such and such a manager so as far as getting in touch with Managers. I don't know, sometimes managers put themselves out there on Instagram or Twitter or announce, announce that, hey, I'm such and such artist manager. Uh, usually, I mean, you can try to reach out to those people and say, hey, you know, I'm dope. Check out my music. But I, I don't know if that's going to work for you. Me personally, the projects that I'm working on, I'm focused on those projects. So let me help set the tone. Um, so he's a manager, right? Like as we speak. So like he's working on project with different artists. You gotta keep in mind he's going to tell you the advice as a manager. Like if you were to come to him, what would he expect? What would you need to have and all that? So that's pretty much how this video is about to go. So I'm not gonna stop working on my projects. I'm really, most times I'm not interested in taking on any new projects. And um, unless you have something really dope, I'm personally not interested. At this point in my career, I'm looking for the best of the best. I would suggest before you even reach out to any managers, make sure your stuff is dope. Make sure you have something to offer. Make sure your package is ready. Um, pause. Make sure you got a project out. Make sure you got some good artwork. Make sure you got some songs on soundcloud make sure you got some music videos out you know give someone at least give me something to see uh there's a lot of artists that contact me and they'll say hey i want you to manage me and they don't even have a song they don't even have a song and then they'll send me these these like these shitty rough draft songs and like not even complete songs it's just like yo no one's trying to manage you no one's trying to no one's you know it, it's rare that somebody is gonna find some Raw talent, meaning somebody that just just don't got their shit together at all, and then just go. He pretty much saying like you just can't like walk off the street and be like, "Yo, I rap, not have nothing, and spit bars in front of him." You gotta have something showing that you rap. You have some type of track record, and he gonna go into more detail about it. Gonna pick them up off the ground and turn them into a star. Like usually, you have to have your th your own thing going. When I started. Managing McConan, although his project wasn't off the ground, he did have some music. He had some music. He had some songs on SoundCloud, and he had uh, some cheesy music videos that he shot on his own. But it was something that gave me something to look at. A lot of times, people would email me and say, "Hey, I want you to manage me." They don't even have a video out. They don't have no visuals. And that Instagram page shit, that shit doesn't really count to me. Like, you, you gotta have some type of effort. Like, you gotta have some type of display of your content. And whether it's, that's your first video, whether it's, that's like, you know, even a trailer video or something, something that is trying to put an image together. Videos you made with your cell phone, selfie videos. I mean, unless your video's doing a lot of views. That don't count. Like, well, I'm looking for people with YouTube channels or people that have videos or took the effort 
try to make a video even if it's it doesn't even have to be that high quality but to show that you you're making some type of effort towards yourself as an artist like you need to at least have some type of music video out if you think a manager is going to take you seriously you need to have you need to have some type of visuals um if not you need to have a some songs on soundcloud that's doing some numbers if not it's like don't waste somebody's time you know if you want a manager to take you seriously here are my steps step one release a project have a project you know have a have a have an ep have five songs that at least five songs that i can listen to and decide am i fucking with this or am i not like have, have some music and Take the time to release your project correctly. Have a cover art. Don't just have a compilation on SoundCloud. Really release it through a distribution site so that, you know, it comes out good. It's easy to find, and it's not like, you know, you have to go through all this effort just to find out about you. Make sure the music is dope. What's dope? I, I don't know. I'm, uh, make sure it just sounds decent. Make sure it sounds decent. Number two. You got to have some music videos. Word. We want to see you. I want to see what you look like on camera. I want to see how you move. I want to see if you got swag. Yeah, I was listening to this one artist. My cousin was playing his music in my car. And I liked this one song he had. His music was doing some, he had some good, nice amount of plays on SoundCloud. It looked like he had a little following. And he was doing shows. So then when I went home to watch his video, watch his video, and... Dude just didn't have no swag. And that, and that's when I realized, oh, this is why he hasn't blown up. He has a lot of views on SoundCloud, but he hasn't blown up because he just don't have no swag. Like, dude just looks lame. And, I mean, I'm sorry to say that. You know, I hate to sound like I'm judging him, but, I mean. And think of your career. Like, I know some people are thinking, like, you know, I just started. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. But it, it goes into steps. Like, everybody starts off with a person that just has an idea. They want to rap. You know, first, you might just start uh, writing. You might start freestyling. You might start actually recording them freestyles. Okay, but your next thing would be, okay, how do I make a YouTube? How do I make a professional IG? And then, boom, uh start uploading some content how can i be consistent what should i be looking for how do i learn my like it's all in steps like so don't think of it as like it's something to be like damn i don't got it yet just realize this is what you want to do you want to keep elevating in your career I mean, just to get closer to having a manager and having a lawyer people that want to actually work with you look lame to me. I'm just giving you the reality of it. Study the great, study the swag of the, of the biggest artists, and you, you might have to start acting and moving like them. I don't know, man. Get your swag right. You know, study, get your swag together. Sometimes people be moving and dancing funny, and I, it just don't look good to me sometimes. Number three, have a social media presence. I'm really not that big on social media. I'm not like one to judge you because of the amount of followers that you have because following that sh that shit could go from zero to a million overnight because it's it's a lot of uh, social media deals with a lot of bandwagon activity and people just kind of copying and following people following each other and followers following followers so if if one day you blow up and people are just like hey this was going on Everyone's gonna follow your page. So it's really not a big deal. I'm also looking for like, is this person talented? Do they got the swag? Can I work with this image? Or are they giving me something to work with? So, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, if, if, cool. If you got a bunch of followers, that's cool. But I don't really judge somebody by their followers, but having a social media presence can just mean having your shit in order, having a SoundCloud page, having a YouTube page, making sure you got a Facebook fan page and not just a Facebook personal page. Making sure you got videos, making sure you're consistent on Instagram and you're putting stuff out. I mean, that's a good sign for me as a manager. It looks like you're taking some type of effort towards your career. And it gives me less work to have to do and when I have to come in and clean shit up or, you know, it, it just, it just. A manager would love if you know how to already run your own shit. Like, if you know how to actually put up you know, uh, a good post with a good um, 
caption and you know you know how to add all the tag and hashtags or whatever that you might be doing um and really like get your own thing functioning it functioning as a system you're going to be more likely desired by a manager to work with just less work for me if you're already maintaining your social media so that's another good thing that's another way to attract a manager number four make good music make good music if you don't know what good music sounds like then i don't know what to tell you number five don't wait for a manager to find you like i said earlier manager i'm not really out looking for people to sign i'm not really looking for artists um, sometimes situations just fall into my lap sometimes where, you know, I may just, I've, I've, I've signed two artists or a few artists through emails with them just sending me stuff and then I was checking it out and I just happen to like it. Put yourself out there. Learn how to write a good email. Don't write this whole, yo, this is the story of my life, bro. <clears throat> Have like, um, what's it called? A press kit. Have... You know, have somebody write it if you don't know how to do it. <clears throat> I would recommend, um, what's it called, a uh, lawyer. If you know, if you really feel like you're set in stone and have somebody write that up for you. Or even go on places like Fiverr. They'll make a press kit. You send them the content. You send them, like, captions that you want. And it would be something that a manager would be like, okay, one, he knows what he's talking about. Two, and two you're able to like track the artist way better and you're not having like a wild time trying to f just find the stuff. But you're gonna have to have some videos, some music, and you know, what are you sending someone? One thing I hate is when someone just sends me a SoundCloud link. It's almost like someone just passing me a blank C a CD back in the day when you used to be on the streets and people used to try to sell you CDs. A guy, you know, instead of the guy that has a nice package went to like CD makers and got a CD done or got, you know, some artwork printed and, you know, like I remember when people used to actually have to get CDs made, manufactured, and, you, you know, they had the, the jewel box and they opened and it had a booklet in it or if it didn't have a booklet, booklet it at least had a, um, a, a some a artwork cover. But then it got to the point where the guys were just out in the streets and then they just had CDRs, the blank CDRs that you were supposed to just like write on with a marker and they're like just passing out the CD. And like, you expect me to listen to this? You just give me a, a blank CD with it doesn't even have nothing written on it. You know what I'm saying? Or you might have like a sticker on it, a sticker label that might get caught up in my CD player. I'm just saying like, I, no one likes a SoundCloud link. No one likes a SoundCloud link. Sure, I want to see a fucking video. I want to see a music video, something at least. Don't wait for a manager to find you. Most managers are busy trying to get whatever project that they already invested in off the ground. So don't sit around waiting for a manager to contact you. Manage yourself. You know, manage yourself until it gets to... Sometimes some people don't need a manager. Sometimes you just got to manage yourself until someone people are reaching out to you and saying, Hey, I see you got some potential over there. It looks like you may need some help. Um, you gotta, you gotta build some type of foundation for yourself. No one is having a good structure to your artistry is key. Like, don't think, oh, just putting stuff out is good enough. Like that, yeah, like yeah, we get to see what's going on, but like, make it look nice. Looking to put nobody on, like, um, put yourself on. You know, and then we can work together. We can move and grow together. It, it, it's like no one's no one's looking to manage you. You know, you're not you're not even managing yourself. I remember this this girl I know. She's like a, in her thirties, and she's decided to be a rapper late in her life. And there's nothing wrong with that. And she just assumed because oh, I man, she knows she knew I was an artist manager, so she just assumed that I wanted to manage her because hey, I'm managing. Hey, I'm looking for, and she tells me, hey, I'm looking for a manager. I was like, well, shit, I'm not interested in managing you. Like, you don't even have nothing that I want. Like, you don't even have a project. Like, what makes you think I want to manage you? Like, what do you have that makes me feel like, oh, okay, if I put a year or two or three years into this, it's going to return some results. Like, you're not even doing anything. You're not even doing anything to, to show me something. 
You know, it's like when you ask someone to manage you, you're asking someone to invest their time in you, invest money in you and their time and their thought. Like, is the investment worth it? Am I going to get something back? Am I even interested in investing? Maybe I don't want to invest. Maybe I just want to keep all my money. Word. Sometimes it just depends on the mood of the manager, too. You might catch them at the right time, might not. I'll keep all my time. Why do you think? What makes you think? What gives you the audacity to make you think I want to manage you? Or I'm, I like, or what makes you think I got the time to want to deal with your shit? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like the nerve of some people. I, I'm not interested for the most part. Not to sound like an asshole, but I'm not interested most times. Most people have enough on their plate. You know, so if you got something for somebody, make sure your shit is hot. If you send it to a manager and you want to get a response, make sure you got your shit together. And, you know, they, they may work with you. That's all I have to say right now about this topic. Yeah. Good vid from bro. Check out his book. Subscribe. Matter of fact, I'm going to make sure I'm subscribed to And I'm already subscribed. Yo, I'm going to let y'all know, too, how, what I think of the book, too. I'm going to get my honest review on it, too. Um, you know, what else is there to say? It's your boy, Big MBKJ. And, yeah. Yo, MBK, we, we going up. I want y'all to know that. We to the moon. Y'all know the vibes. Out of here.